Quite a little uh, workaround, uh, Nakitsu, that may help some of you um, making selection sets um, much uh, easier. So, um, and, and we will go back uh, to the how the picker works with the mixer uh, panel. So, uh, basically here what I want to do is not just right click on a uh, limb or a suite of uh, nodes, of node of uh, joints. Okay, because here it's, it works. Okay, I can do middle click as well, it will work. But I want to um, create um, some discontinued uh, selections like this. Okay, so this you can't achieve this uh, by one click by default in Akitsu. But if you want, you can work on this. The, the, the fact is that the, the best way to do this would be to have a custom button here, but you don't have this yet in Akitsu. Maybe it will come at some point. I can't say much about this, but um, now I will just show you how to do this with uh, what uh, provides uh, Akitsu. So, um, first of all, you will need just to create a temporary animation when you, where you will just uh, store your sh selection sets, okay? And you will just go back to it each time you want to select a specific part of your character. So name it like um, OO uh, selector. Okay, so this animation will um, will have any uh, selection sets I want on my character. So let's say first I want to have this one. So what I need to do. Okay, so new animation, it looks like this, okay. What I need to do is go in the mixer panel and click on this little button here. It's the first button and it will create a new layer based on the selection I've made. Okay, like this. So, um, once you've made this, once you've created your new layer, you can rename it uh, like... Um, Let's call this just test, okay? And here you can see that I have, I've got some little hammers just on the joints I've selected, okay? Which means that if I click there, okay, to deactivate the hammer mode of the layer um, test, I will have only the, the, the keyable uh, joints in that layer. Meaning that if I want to cycle through each joint, the picker will be limited to this. And if I perform this command, it will select all the joints active in that layer. So this command will be your best friend. Okay. So now if I want to have, let's say, a, a selection for the, um, for the eyes, for example, and maybe I want to have the eyelids too, which could be cool. So the, just the middle eyelids, so, so I can do this kind of movement. Okay, it's, it's not the best one, but imagine you want to have this. So you just select them. No matter uh, if you are uh, in a layer without this joint, you can still pick them on the character. Then you just hit create again on your layer, you name it eyes for example and then uncheck the little hammer and then the all select will select only the eyes with the leads which should be more than enough um, so yeah if I want to select maybe the just the fingers or maybe just this part of the fingers on this hand I can select them, create a new layer, call them uh, right phalanxes. Um, one, and I'm and I'm okay. Up. Okay, and, and each time I will switch to another layer. Like, let's say I want to go to the eyes. I could select all, and I will retrieve my selection, and then. I could go back to my animation where I wanted to have this selection uh, active and keep on animating. 
So that it's just a little tips. Um, and I hope it will help some of you um, who, who really want uh, to have this to animate uh, your character. So that's, that's it for, uh, for this one. So see you and uh, have fun on Akitsu.